Hi Baker Bobcats! I'm so excited to see you tonight. Feels like it's been a while. I bet I know what you were expecting me to read tonight. I bet you were expecting another old lady book. But I thought tonight we'll do something different. Maybe you could guess what subject my book will come from. Hmm. What? Oh, you said math? Boy, you Bobcats know me so well. You are right, tonight's book is a math book. My book is called Counting Crocodiles by Judy Sierra. Counting Crocodiles. On an island in the middle of the Silo Bubble Sea lived a clever little monkey in a sour lemon tree. She ate lemons boiled and fried Steam, sauteed, pureed, and dried. She ate lemons till she cried. I'm all puckered up inside. Then across that sea so wide, a banana tree she spied. How delectable she sighed. I would love to take a trip across the syllabobble sea and carry back a stack of sweet bananas from that tree. The syllabobble crocodiles thought that they were cool and they looked upon those waters as their private swimming pool. They appeared to be quite vicious, feasting fiercely on fishes. But the monkey was suspicious and the bananas looked delicious. So she climbed atop her tree and cried, I wonder, are there more crocodiles in the sea? Four more monkeys on the shore. One crusty croc who chanced to hear her snorted. It could not be clearer that lurking just below the waves are crocodiles galore. Why head to tail we've reached across the sea, the reptile roared. With those words, he disappeared into the dark and salty sea and brought back his entire crocodilian family. Just look at us, I have a hunch. You've never seen a bigger bunch. Later, be our guest for lunch. We're all lined up and waiting. Monkey, will you count us, please? She counted one crocodile with a great big smile. Two crocs resting on rocks. Three crocs rocking in a box. Four crocs building with blocks. Five crocs tickling a fox. Six crocs with pink mohawks. Seven crocs juggling clocks. Eight crocs in polka dot socks. Nine crocs with chicken pox. And ten crocs dressed like Goldilocks. The crocodiles were dancing and cavorting in the slime. Impatiently they asked, how many of us did you find? With her mouth full of bananas, the monkey scolded, mind your manners. Line up now, crocodiles. I need to count you one more time. She counted 10 crocs dressed like Goldilocks, nine crocs with chicken pox, eight crocs in polka dot socks, seven crocs juggling clocks, six crocs with pink mohawks, five crocs tickling a fox, four crocs building with blocks, three crocs rocking in a box, two crocs resting on rocks, and one crocodile with a great big smile. As the monkey jumped ashore and scurried up her lemon tree, the crocodiles below cried out, how many then are we? Tell us now, the crocodiles all howled, just enough, the monkey scowled. Just enough to make a bridge across the syllabobble sea, but not enough to catch a clever monkey like me.
What a clever little monkey. I know all my bobcats are just as clever. Be well, bobcats. See you soon.